Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at the DX Trigger Machine Sango from Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger. Uh, this is the trigger machine or main vehicle for uh, Pato Ren Sango up here, the pink Pato Ranger. So pretty cool. Uh, you can see the giant bar across which is going to become a weapon for the uh, Pato Kaiser large robot as you can see there. Taking a look on this side, just another picture of the trigger machine. This side shows how it can work with the mecha and the changer. Nothing going on the bottom there. Again, just shows how these three can combine with the good striker to make the mecha. Pretty cool picture there. That's the giant baton that can be deployed. And then again, the changer and the mecha. So yeah, pretty cool packaging. Go ahead, we'll get it out, and we'll take a closer look. So here is the Trigger Machine Sango. It's kind of a deep magenta. Definitely a darker pink than I thought it was going to be, but it looks pretty good. I like how from the front you have these kind of two blue eyes. I assume they're supposed to be headlights, but they do kind of look like eyes. <laughs> and then this molding here is obviously meant to look like a fist for the robot mode that's coming up later has the rail system here on the bottom, has the connector port for the arm. Rolls fairly well. Here is the Trigger Machine Ichigo, the Trigger Machine Nigo. So this is the full team. All about the same length, as you can see. I like them. I think they're fun. I really like having all three of them together. So we'll put these off to the side for a moment. Um, you have the nice orange stripe. You have the Sango. You have that Sentai badge. When you pull the trigger, that extends forward. Uh, this piece you just unclip and then it pegs in there. You can see that there is a peg hole on the wheel and there's a peg on the underside of the baton so that pegs in and then you just pull that out and then when this connects as an arm and I'll zoom out a smidge here it'll just be like it's wielding the baton whack 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 <laughs> so you can also um, clip that back if you just want her to like be driving around you could just deploy it you know, if someone's coming the other way, just pop that out, boom, whack them. Or maybe there's a large mecha, trip them, something like that, tripwire. So you can deploy it like that. You don't have to press the trigger first. Trigger just extends the arm a little bit. But yeah, pretty cool. So eventually, once we have the good striker, you'll have this... And I think this one goes like this, so so you'll have something something like this. Let me move the camera up a little bit. Obviously, there'll be some legs involved, but something like that. I mean, this guy's going to be armed pretty well. He's going to have a gun on one arm and a baton on the other. He's going to be ready for a fight. But yeah, pretty cool. I like it. I'll go ahead and bring in the VS Changer. Go ahead and slide this on. So there you go, you have your transformation into Pataran Sango. Very cool. Then we'll go ahead and call the mecha. Pretty 
So there you go, that would deploy the mecha and have it grow large in size. Then you have your, now your Pateren blasting sound. And of course, with the trigger machines, you can swing it up if you'd rather. Press the button, slides right off. So there you go. That are the, that are, that, <laughs> those are the two sounds you can get with uh, Trigger Machine Sango, the transformation sound, and the call the mecha or vehicle sound. So, very cool. So another cool Trigger Machine. Um, it's probably my least favorite of the three. Um, not for any specific reason. I think maybe just because the large bar across the top and the two eyes or the two headlights that look like eyes on the front to me um, just kind of make it look like a weird creature whereas all the other ones just kind of look like cars um, not to say that it's bad by any stretch it's certainly not it's just I think it's design is just not my favorite but I love the magenta pink color I think that's cool it's darker than I expected but I actually like it a lot I think that's pretty cool the darkness of the of the pink color um, I love the sounds it makes in the VS changers, so I'm excited. And I really can't wait to get the good striker so I finally can form uh, Pato Kaiser because I think he's going to be awesome. Like I said, he has a gun on one hand, he's got a baton in the other, he's definitely ready for a fight. And I love the head sculpt, I think he looks cool. It always reminds me of a Gundam, the head sculpt for Pato Kaiser. But uh, yeah, this one's great, definitely recommend it. If you have the other ones, absolutely no reason not to pick this one up because you're going to want to form uh, the giant mecha Pato Kaiser when we finally get the good striker. So pick this one up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the DX Trigger Machine Sango from Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.